Hi, I'm Steve Harnish. I'm a partner here at Central Manor Dairy. We're a 200 cow dairy, about an hour and a half west of Philadelphia. I farm here with my brother and my cousin. We're third generation on the farm, and we've got children and parents that are still involved, so it's kind of a multi-generational affair. We milk 200 cows three times a day, farm about 220 tillable acres, so plenty of work to go around. When I was a kid growing up, we didn't do no-till, we didn't do cover crops. Um, we had a rotation of soybeans, corn, uh, alfalfa, we rotate the, the fields between those three. We've inched up the herd size over the years, but kept the same uh, footprint of land that we farm on. So we took out soybeans and grew more silage, uh, some more corn silage. So we made the choice to switch over to no-till and, and got our first uh, no-till corn planter 20 years ago. We weren't the first in the neighborhood. We're not like the innovator. Well, hopefully we were one of the early adopters uh, of doing the no-till corn planter. Um, saw the success that we were having after that first initial hurdle of a couple of years, and then made the jump and, and did the additional investment to get a no-till drill and uh, could do our fall cover crop. Uh, you can seed alfalfa. About 15 years ago, we started that spring seed of alfalfa. So now the acres are in continuous corn rye and then switch over and do a um, four-year rotation of alfalfa and never do tillage well, the entire time. Rye is our main cover crop. In addition to the soil health benefits that we're seeing, it's an ideal ingredient in our heifer ration. The farm has been in my family for three generations now. We're roughly in the same footprint that we were 30 years ago, but the amount of milk kind of inches up over the years, and some of that's been enabled by upgrades we've made for you know cow comfort. Paying closer attention to animals, using some remote monitoring systems on those cows, and so like, Nothing, nothing can happen to a cow without us knowing about it. We're a relatively small farm. Um, we need to keep an eye on how much labor it takes to accomplish the daily chores. So the slatted floors in all of our milking cow facilities don't require any daily chores of scraping down or anything like that. Having the manure storage under a roof uh, will eliminate rainwater in the pit. So when it comes time to spread manure, um, we can move it out pretty quickly. Initially, we were looking to add milking cow numbers in 2009. We built this bedded pack barn because we thought it was a great housing. One of the goals of building a new facility is what can I do to improve upon the existing systems that we have now? So a compost bedded pack barn fit really well to complement the freestall barn that we have. When we've got older cows that need more TLC, we can put them in this barn, just a more comfortable place for them to be. Um, we found that it really extends the productive life of a cow when you can find an ideal setting for it like this. The bedding where the cows spend most of their time is this deep pack of recycled wood shavings. We aerate it three times a day. Cows always kind of have a dry place to lay down and they do really well in the pack. We'll take the driest stuff off and actually recycle it and use it uh, for deep bedding on our free stalls. This stream that runs through our pasture is one of the headwaters of the Susquehanna River. Every animal that uh, lives on the farm is within 500 yards of a stream. And, and I guess the question for us was, what do you put in between animals and stream? In our case, we put this riparian buffer, both sides of the stream, fenced out the animals so they're not grazing in the stream, built a swale, a terrace, between any barnyard or driveway water, and we're trying to avoid any runoff from on the lot where the animals live to make their way over to the stream. As an industry, Everyone talks about we're a shrinking share of the population, trying to feed the rest of it. We do it with less land, less water, fewer animals than we ever have before. And that takes management. Like it takes changing practices. It, it takes getting more efficient to accomplish. But we're trying to manage things closely so that we're more efficient in every aspect of it, more labor efficient, better yields from our crops using the same acreage. We're trying to improve the genetics in our animals so that they can find a, a, a healthy way to produce more than they have in the past. Um, part of sustainability to me means continuous improvement. So look around, in what areas is life not ideal for your cow? Go work on that.